Yeah, good afternoon, Janelle. I'm actually standing on the front porch, and you can see this train behind me. I mean, we're talking literally feet from this porch. There are actually two homes here uh, that were affected by this. They were not damaged in any way. Nobody inside the house was hurt. In fact, amazingly, police and firefighters tell me no one was hurt in this crash. Let's go ahead and show you the video so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Now, this is a train from Southwest Pennsylvania Railroad. I spoke with their uh, one of their operations managers who told me that they are still investigating what caused this. The cleanup, I'm told from firefighters, we have 16 hours they're at this point from the crews who were called here to clean this up. And what they're cleaning up is sand. This is fracking sand, I'm told, that officials believe was on the field, which was residents who live along here received this morning. In fact, we who actually this. I just started there, standing there and look at it, and I noticed that it wasn't going fast. It starts sparks start coming out of there. Cause it seems like the wheels is grinding real uh, <clears throat> a lot. And then I was standing there and I said, it seemed like a car was it was leaning toward me, you know, and I didn't know what it was. I, I said, is that me or mine? And then it did, and it fell over like that. Oh. I was scared to death. Happened in the area of East Penn and Locust. If you're familiar with the Union State Hall, and no one was hurt, amazing, even though these homes are very close by. We'll hear from more witnesses in our later newscast. For now, we're live in Fayette County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.